Kitchen ring, a short sword. Remember gear resets? Yeah, it it wasn't really remember because I just f figured it out for the first time. But then I was like, oh, okay. It's like so it's like a roguelike. Uh, that may have been like really obvious to some of you. Uh, I know very little about this. Pictures of Spider-Man. Wow. Cemetery spawns a skeleton every three seconds. Let's put the cemetery at the opposite side. So if we get banged up here, we have time to recover a little bit. Now, when you get stuff with regen, do you I? And it's like you regen every one second. Is that one second of combat, but also one second of running around the map? Is it both? Or is it just one of them? Uh, Vampire Mansion. Let's put you by the skeletons, because you're spooky. All right, shields, attack speed. Four to six, that's the same. Uh, Blood Grove. Devours enemies have less than 15% HP left. Oh, I can only, okay, it has to be like down here. Beacon, um. Gonna be zooming. Hey, Michael Chad, just finished watching Blue-Eyed Samurai. Man, what a show. I am not familiar with Blue-Eyed Samurai. Oh, I saw the blood grove. That's cool. I wonder if I go under 15% health, if it's going to eat me suddenly. And I'd be like, oh no. Uh, now, how does defense work in this game? Is it just flat damage reduction? Or is it... It's probably not flat DR. It's probably not flat DR. <laughs> Road Lantern reduces the max number of spawning enemies on the tiles around it. Uh, just so there's not an overflow of vampires, I guess. It's on Netflix, very well made, but quite adult in many places. Oh no! Okay. Bunch of meadows. Okay. Uh, whoa! Massive damage increase on the weapon. Um. So I'm assuming a counter is you. It it like it avoids a hit, so it's a defensive thing. But then it also attacks. Also, like I, I'm assuming that like a counter is like a dodge or a parry, in that you don't take the blow. I'm hoping that's what it means. You do take the blow. You just strike back. Okay. Uh, gives a random basic resource after placing anything on empty tile around it. Must be surrounded by empty space when you place it. Spider cocoon. Rocks. Wow, one shot. Uh, new armor. Uh, grove. Right there. I need to read again about the blood grove. Devours enemies have less than 50% HP. Okay, that's just makes them die faster. Uh, better shields. Is this a Steam game? It is, yes. It's called Loop Hero. It's not a loop, it's a spiral. the lowest my health has gotten so far. Uh, all right, better armor.
Do I want to stop? What's the skull? Map completion. When the bar is filled, the boss is... Oh, okay. A boss spawns. Uh, defense and regen. Okay. Oh, misclick. Cemetery, spawn a skeleton every three days. Uh, counter plus 20%. 14 to 20. God, that's a lot. So just to confirm, there is nothing I can do during that screen, right? I can't, like, click on a guy to focus fire on it or anything. Like, I'm just a voyeur on when I'm on that screen. Like, that's, that's it. change equipment during a fight, someone said. Oh, is that the rat wolf? Yeah, that's rat wolf. Okay. Uh, big damage. Another blood grove. I mean, do they stack? I don't know. I don't know how a, having an additional blood grove down here is going to help. Have you seen anything on Death Must Die? I remember one of y'all suggesting it to me. Um, and I think I looked at it and thought it looked neat, but that's as far as I got. No! What do you mean, no? You want to save the world. You want to ask for help. Our answer is no. How did you... But why no? We see far away. We see deep inside. For a long time, there has been emptiness instead of the sky, but it doesn't stop us from seeing. Your saving of the world is one-sided and naive. Each person sees their own way to save the world. That's why no one will ever join you. Fine. I don't didn't fully consider it. Uh, all right. I don't fully understand it, but tell me your version. How do you see saving the world? By my progeny and kin. May they live and be strong. May they join the cycle of life and death. That is life. That is the world. I will kill you and feed your flesh to my starving younglings, and life will go on. How many lives can your blade prolong as you kill again and again? Only one. I don't want you to die, and I don't want your children to die of hunger. Please try to see reason. If my mission succeeds, the Harpies can have all the sky and all the hunting grounds they need. I can't feed my children with your beautiful words. Farewell. I mean, fair, but now your children are going to eat your corpse, so, you know, what a... I feel awful. By fixing one evil, I'm causing another. There's no home for Harpies except in the highest mountains, but there's no food there. I can't even imagine how they manage to survive if their mountains were cut off from reality. Uh, let's see, meadow, and mountain. Uh, let's see, damage to all five, defense three. 324, damage to all two, evasion. no. Okay, uh, let's see, meadow. Blood grove doesn't really do anything. Grove lantern. I think we're actually getting too much stuff spawning down here, so let's put some lanterns there. Alright, let's see. 16 to 24, but counter and vampirism. Uh, 13, evasion and vamp. Alright. I purposely put those chests right after the heal. 
Oh, oh my tower. Oh my gosh, it's so big. Hi, banana. Rat wolf. Spread these out. We're, we're getting the the packs of mobs down here are getting to be too large. We're gonna nuke some of them. We, we need to uh, spread these out a bit. What is that? Flesh golem. Pause. 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 Okay, shield, uh, 17, uh, that's pretty nice shield. Uh, another shield, 17, 2, 2, uh, 16, 18, 28, yeah, I'll use that. 22 regen, counter, attack, secure damage, sure. Alright. Okay, meadow, rock, battlefield after the spawn. Check your blood groves. My blood groves. Occasionally attacks the hero for 20 damage. Devours enemies that have less than 20. Oh my god, why? So if they eat too much, they be, they attack the hero afterward. Check the meadows around your vaults. There's not a building called a vault. Do you mean the treasury? Flowers get a feel for the world and bloom with pleasant smells. They heal for more. Okay. Uh, mountain Peak. Adjacent mountain rock tunnel, uh, plus, plus 121 max HP. Spawns a harpy every two days. So, was the Mountain Peak formed by just combining mountain cards, or is it mountains or, or rock cards could combine for that? Beacon... So many beacons. Three by three mountain or rock. Uh, let's see. That's all rubbish. Okay. All right. So the stuff horizontal or vertical of the treasuries, or the the will get better. Cemetery spawns skeletons. Does anything happen if I combine a bunch of cemeteries? I don't like that Jed is doing face ball me votes. Bro, I'm like an hour in, not even. Okay, that's three by three mountains and rocks. It did not make a mountain peak. Mm-hmm. Spear, 18 to 28, pure damage four, counter 10. No, I don't think I'll use that. The boss is about to spawn. Ah, wait, what? Goblin camps. 
Wait, uh, it replaced the healing thing? So I, I, I don't get the option of leaving. Well, I mean, I guess I could, but I would lose a lot. You only get one mountain peak. Oh. Wait, empty treasury. Spawns a gargoyle every three days. Wait, what? How did I get an empty treasury? Was it because I surrounded all of the tiles? And then what? It gave me an item or something? Oh! It's you! Sans! How is it possible? That's right, you didn't devour me like the rest of the world. Haven't I? You really don't think so? What are you talking about? I'm standing right in front of you. I consumed all of your reality. It's every element now rests on a separate pocket dimension. Space, living beings, information, even memories. It shall remain there until entropy does its work, turning everything into a uniform static mass. Along with you, of course. You're insane. So what do we have here? I see. You found a way to interact with other pieces of your reality. Organizing, combining, and merging them. But how? I don't see any exceptional talents or knowledge in you. Okay, first of all, rude. You hardly even understand what's happening, right? I'll tell you what's happening. A pile of bones is butchering my world and thinks it can get away with it. No, that is absolutely not what it sounded. Look, I'm new here, and he just sounded like he said he was hiding our reality in a pocket dimension while entropy does its work. Sounds like Entropy's the bad guy here, and this guy's trying to save our stuff. And we are rudely existing and messing up the plan. You're already doomed and you know it. Perhaps you're just the first in a series of systematic errors. A problem I must learn to solve. Wasn't that how Remnant 2 ended? The lady's like, oh, we can't save reality. Why don't we just take reality and we'll put it over here? Yeah, well, easy. Let's not waste any time then. I don't think you're capable of feeling regret, but I'm about to change that. Sir, can we? Yo, hey, yo, it was just a prank. God dang it. I was, I went into that with half health. You've died in battle. Death does not favor the fallen, but it made a little exception for you. Retreat. You keep 30% of all resources. Get close? Yeah, and I went into that with no health. Well, not no health, I like half health. I'm alive. But how? Thanks to us. A small group of us dragged you back here. It wasn't easy. How did you fight off all those monsters? They nearly killed me. That's also interesting. Many of them were vanishing right before our eyes. Some we managed to avoid, but I think most of the monsters were gone before we left the camp. I think your trips are deeply connected to your memory, my friend. It all fades away as soon as you space out for long enough. Okay. All right. So do I have to beat the boss to unlock another hero? There's an option in the settings to pause, but when you pass the camp. Um, options menu. Pause at the end of the loop. Pause the game when out of focus. Okay. It's tied to a building. Alright. Armor. Shield. Thought I heard ship.
Uh, Gladius got our first weapon for this run. Better armor. Uh, downgrade shield. Mountain. Spider cocoon. Uh, road lantern. Reduce max number of spawning enemies. Road lantern effects can stack. Alright, um, uh, sure, just, it's identical, just to get it out of here. First ring. Alright, keep going. The little icons that come off of things you build are the resources you're collecting. You can look at them by clicking yourself at the top. Yes, I did figure that out. Uh, not sure if there's really a point to the blood grove. I mean, I guess it helps kill the enemies faster, but then it seems like you want to nuke it when it dies. Or when it levels up to the point where it's hurting you. It seems like you want to nuke the blood grove. Uh, why does that have a lock on it? Oh, I must have clicked it by accident. Uh, four to six. Four to six. Better armor. Okay. Beacon makes you move faster. Meadow, more health regen. Grove, throw that there. Cemetery spawns a skeleton every three. All right, let's spread these out a little bit. Uh, big weapon upgrade, same shield. Inventory overflow is by no means a bad thing. Yeah, but the thing is, is like... When it when there's more stuff over here, it takes me longer to identify the new things. So if I can replace something with something of equal stats just to get rid of the old thing... Seems good. Gives a random basic resource after placing anything on an empty tile around it. Must be surrounded by empty space when you build it. What is this? Goblin cat. Just it uh, maintains the order you get it in. Um, maybe, but it's still more to process each time. Weapon, rock, meadow, battlefield. But you get resources when inventory items start deleting because it's full. Okay, that's new information. I didn't know that. Sweet 16%. What is that? Oh, that's a ring. I need some regen. That'll do. Okay, so we healed monster spawn. Okay, yeah. Keep going. A battle with two treasure chests. What a day. Treasury. This is Loop Hero. We're trying it for the first time right now. It's what you see right here. We're trying it out for the first time. Uh, pure damage, defense attacks, phase, put that on. Alright, we'll place a... Oh, Harpy. Alright, pause it for a second. We'll put a rock over there and another vampire mansion there. So, the dude walks around in a loop. And that's why it's got the name like that. But the loop changes each time you play it. And it's like, there's nothing in the world. There's just darkness everywhere. Like, the world has ended. But as he remembers things, they start to exist again. And so, like, as he's going around, you're kind of, like, rebuilding the world. So, here, hang on a sec. So, he, right here, here's some three goblins and a vampire. He's going to fight these guys. And the combat's just automatic. 
And then I got some items from killing them. And then... Hang on. Okay, so we, we just got a meadow card. So we can choose where to put it. And I'm gonna put it right there. And now there's another tile in the world. We also got some loot here. Uh, 12 to 18, vampirism, damage to all. Okay, so we'll get that. And that is a better shield, so we'll equip that. Um, this bar right here, when it fills up, a boss spawns. And I died to the boss on my first attempt. Uh, so we're trying to get further now. But everything has a bonus. Like, for every meadow that we put down, we heal. For every stone, that, like, mountain that we put down, we have more max hit points. This makes you run faster, this beacon. So, of course, fighting is dangerous, but the more fights that you're in, the more uh, loot you get, which, you know, helps you get stronger, basically. At the beginning, all there is is the path, just the road. Everything else got added. All right, so put the rock cards down. Uh, what is this? Not an upgrade, so we'll just leave that. And then you just right-click to either pause or unpause the game, otherwise he just keeps going. Cemetery spawns a skeleton. Grove. Uh, are these still growing? Yeah, those are still growing. Vampire Mansion. All right, pause. We got a new ring. Don't care. Got a new shield. Don't care. Okay. Uh, someone said, I recommend rocking the corners of the treasuries. But it says it gets more HP for every adjacent rock or mountain. All right, I'll try. There's got to be a reason you said that. So certain combinations of stuff will do some hidden things. For example, putting uh, the rock card gives you hit points. The uh, mountain gives you more hit points. But having, uh, th was it nine of them? Three by three rocks and mountains, it makes a mountain peak, which gives you a ton of hit points. Um, you can only have one mountain peak, apparently. Okay, so, hold on, what do we have here? Three, three, this is lower level armor, I don't need that. Don't need that. That is an upgrade weapon, we'll take that. One, six, I'll use the ring. 382, I'll use the armor. Okay, mountain, throw that there. Uh, spider cocoon, I'll throw that over there. Um, he's this little white sprite right here. Uh, yeah, he just follows the road. Now that's the campfire, every time he gets there he heals. And when you're at the campfire, you can choose to take all the supplies you've gotten and leave, uh, like if it's getting too hard. Uh, kind of like Call to the Lamb, when you just pour back to town. Uh, but, but if you die, you still keep some of this, but not much. It doesn't let you build a road, it just lets you build other stuff. Right, like, building this vampire mansion makes vampires spawn on the road near it, but you don't actually build more road. Because more things to fight means that you get more loot, which means you can get stronger. So, of course, it's, it's risky, but there's reward to it also. So, right there, uh, we're, we're at the campfire. We can choose to leave and keep 100% of our stuff, or we can keep going. One thing I'm curious, chat, where's my hit points? Like, what's my... Oh, wait, it's right there. So that's my health after healing at the campfire. Um... My health is going to be lower by the time I get back. I don't know that I'm... I think I'm going to be not ready for a boss. So I'm actually going to cash out and keep all, all my resources. 
Another success. You've returned and we still remember you. Unbelievable. Yeah, 